Good day, folks. So today's video is just going to be for fun. We're going to be testing landing pads to see whether if you use the orange side or the blue side, or over there I have the moment landing pad, we're going to see if it makes a difference when it comes to precision landing. I've seen a lot of comments in some of the videos that I've made that uh, some people say, oh, you should use this color or you should use this landing pad. It's more accurate. Now I'm going to hypothesize here. I don't really know for sure because I've never done a test like this before, but I'm going to say it doesn't really make any difference. I think it just all boils down to good contrast. You can see the grass here around me is green. You just want something that's going to be a high contrast that the drone can pick up quite easily. But I don't know for sure. I've never done a test like this. So let's just go and we will see what happens. Okay. Okay, so this is a test with the blue side up on the landing pad. Let's go ahead and take off. Take off. So it says the return to home point has been updated. So let's go ahead and just raise it a little bit. We'll just let it sit there for a minute. We'll send it out maybe 100 or 200 meters and then we'll uh, call it back home. We're 162 meters out, so let's go ahead and hit return to home. Go home. So here it comes here. You can kind of just see it through the trees there. Looks pretty good so far. So there we go, blue side of the landing pad, return home test, quite accurate. So let's go ahead, flip it over and we'll try the orange side. So now we are going to try the orange side of the landing pad to see if there's any difference. So let's go ahead and get the drone launched. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please so we got our notice that the home point has been updated. We're just gonna let it sit there a minute, make sure it has its bearings. We'll just go up really slow at first, maybe pause again, just to make sure it knows where it is. So there we go. So now let's just send it out about 100 meters, maybe 200 meters, and then we'll call it back home and uh, we'll see if there's any difference with the orange side facing up. Like I said, I don't think there will be much of a difference, but uh, I guess we'll soon find out. So we are 174 meters out, so let's go ahead and initiate a return to home. Go home. So the Landing. drone is right above us right now, just kind of through the trees there. Probably can't see it. Probably won't be able to see it because of the sun, but uh, it is coming down. I'll turn the camera down so we can see what's going on. I should have done that the first time, but I didn't. Here it comes here. You can see it there through the trees. And it looks pretty close again. So yeah, it landed spot on. There was absolutely no difference between the orange side and the blue side. But let's go ahead here and try this moment landing pad. It's a little bit smaller and uh, we'll try the black side because there's not as much contrast. Now, as you can see with this moment landing pad, there's no H on it, there's an M. I don't think that's gonna make any difference, but there is a red side as well. So if you need something with a little bit more contrast, you can choose which side you like. We're gonna try the black side because I think it gives the least amount of contrast right now. So we'll see if that uh, makes any kind of difference. So there we go there, we're all set up. So let's get the Mavic Air 2 up in the air. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. It says that the home point's been updated. So let's go ahead and we're gonna send it out. Or we're gonna send it up first, I should say. Just let it kind of hover a bit. Make sure it's uh, familiar with its surroundings. So let's go ahead and we'll send it out again, a couple hundred meters. We are 166 meters out. Let's go ahead and initiate a return to home. Go home. So this will be interesting to see how it works. Drone's coming down. It's just in between the tree branches there. You can see it up there. Standing behind the tree here, just so it kind of somewhat blocks the sun so we can see it. 
Um, right now it does look to be a little off. Yeah, you can see there it's quite off. So let's go ahead and cancel that. Now, as you can see there, it was quite off. So let's go ahead and try that again. I like to do it twice just to make sure it wasn't a fluke. Let's go ahead and take off. Take off. The home port has been updated. So Please this time I'm going to make sure map. it stays there a little bit longer to get the surroundings. So let's just move it up a little bit. Put it at about 10 meters for now. We'll just let it sit there again. We did get notification that the home point has been set. So let's go ahead and go out again about 150 meters or so. Okay, we're out 172 meters. Let's go ahead and initiate a return to home. Go home. Let's see if it's a little bit more accurate this time. So it's right Landing. above us. Let's go ahead and turn the camera down. Looks like it's going to be off a little bit again. So that is very interesting. You can see there it's off a good 10 feet. So let's go ahead and cancel that. So as you can see there with the black side of the moment landing pad up, it failed both times. We're off about five to seven, 10 feet every time. So let's go ahead and we'll try the red side, maybe with the higher contrast against the green grass, it will uh, pick it up a little easier. So let's go ahead and take off. We are at 177 meters out. Let's go ahead and hit return to home. Go home. So here it comes now, again through the trees there. And it looks like it's a little bit more accurate just looking at the screen there. still off a little bit yeah you can see there it's off about four feet so that's quite interesting actually so as you can see there the Mavic Air 2 is off about four feet and it didn't matter whether we use the black side of the moment landing pad or the red side it was still off so I'm not quite sure why that is. Maybe it's because it's a little bit smaller, can't see it as easy. Now don't get me wrong, I love this moment landing pad. It's so small, it's easy to carry. Uh, if you have a small drone bag, it's gonna fit in there with no issue. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure why it wouldn't return to home to it. But the thing is too, once you get your drone back to you close enough, you can always just take manual control and put it back down on the landing pad. Well folks, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.